Welcome to Godly Play. We are glad that you are here. We invite you to get comfortable, take a deep breath, and get ready for the story. Hmm. I wonder if this is a parable. Hmm. It might be. Parables are very precious, like gold. And this box is gold. This looks like a present. Well, parables are like presents. They have been given to us. We can't buy them or take them or steal them. They are already ours. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them, but when you lift the lid of the parable, there is something very precious inside. Let's take off the lid and see if this is a parable. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. It's so green. It's so soft. I wonder what could be so green. Hmm. Maybe there is something else that will help us out. Yes, there is this. It's so blue and cool. I wonder what it might be. Yes, it could be water. Perhaps it is a piece of the sky or a mirror. Let's see if there's anything else. Hmm. These are very dark. There seems to be no light in them. I wonder what they could be. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. If I place it here, it looks like a road. It could be the beginning or the end, or this could be the beginning or the end. If I add another, then the road could be in between. Hmm. If I put one here and there, I could make this place very strong. It's getting stronger and stronger. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. It could be a log cabin, maybe. It could be a corral. But it just keeps getting stronger and stronger. There is an inside and an outside in this place. But I think there needs to be a way to go out and a way to go in. I could make a gate. Hmm. I wonder who lives here. Huh. Here are some sheep. If sheep live in this place, then it must be a sheepfold. It is called a sheepfold because the sheep are folded safely inside. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him, but they didn't know who he was. So one day they simply had to ask him, and he said, I am the good shepherd, and I know each one of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. So when I call my sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of the sheep to show them the way. And I will show them the way to the good green grass. I will show them the way to the cool, clear, still water. And when there are places of danger, I will show them the way 
to pass through so they can come safely home to the sheepfold. I count each of my sheep as they go inside. And if one is missing, I would go anywhere to look for the lost sheep. Through the green grass, by the still water, calling my sheep by name, even in places of danger. And when I find the lost sheep, I carry it home, even if it is very heavy even if I am very tired. And when all my sheep are safe inside, I'm so happy. But I can't be happy all by myself, so I call all my friends, and we have a great feast. Now, I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy in this place. I wonder how many sheep really could live in this place. I wonder if you have ever had to go through places of danger or were lost and someone found you. I wonder if you ever heard the Good Shepherd say your name. I wonder who these sheep might really be. I wonder who the Good Shepherd might really be. I wonder if there's something that you could make that could help you remember the story. <laughs>